U.S. government approves killer mosquitoes to fight disease. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency will allow release of insects in 20 states and Washington, D.C. This are how long has it taken for us to get where we're at now? The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has approved the use of common bacterium to kill wild mosquitoes that transmit viruses. How do you think this connects together? Or does it connect? CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing weaponized? Scientists release controversial genetically modified mosquitoes in high security lab. GMO mosquitoes to control the spread of disease carries unknown risk. Um, and now CRISPR. And so what CRISPR lets us do is actually mutate genes in the mosquito uh, that we think are responsible for their system of smell and taste. If you have smell and taste loss, you are more than 10 times more likely to have COVID-19. The incidence of smell and taste is specific to COVID-19 infection. The mutation in the mosquito gene with CRISPR-Cas9, and now the issue that we are having. Using genetics to try to figure out how to get mosquitoes to stop biting us. The head of the female Aedes aegypti mosquito, scientists hope to put a stop to mosquito bites by blocking a gene that helps the pests find their victims by sensing chemicals in one of the first experiments, the researchers inserted an electrode in the mosquito antenna. Now that's really small. This is where my video before I talked about nanotechnology and nanobots and nanodust and what's going on with the Harvard scientist who was working with China and all the technology. This is pretty insane. So they were able to put an electrode on a mosquito antenna to measure the electrical activity they generated. Milligrams of blood, and then she's going to turn that into a batch of 100 mosquitoes. Um, and so this is why evolution has really acted on their sense of smell and taste. You're basically adding a genetic weapon, if you will, to a mosquito or to a yeast or to another animal so that when it's released in the environment, it will target the uh, endogenous genome in a way that will copy that weapon and, and so on and so forth. So it will actually drive itself into the population. And that's one of the big issues that people talk about when they uh, urge caution in, in rushing these out into the... This is the Jurassic Park effect. I mean, maybe I was conditioned because I was 12 or 13 when Jurassic Park came out. Yeah. But, um, you know, there's a lot of parallels there. Um, that's not what's happening. I mean, mosquitoes. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it sort of worries me a little bit because it's very unpredictable. My fear, you know, as I alluded to, is bioterrorism. So. Mosquito has a built-in kill switch. This is genetically modified. Backed by Bill and Melinda Gates have released these things by the millions. Looks to me to be a bioweapon. The Gates Foundation supplying the money for these groups that released them and in the same area where they released these GMO mosquitoes. This could spread all the way across the globe, every continent except Antarctica. So they're doing, and of course the answers when dealing with them are vaccines. $100 million U.S. million in emergency funding to stop the spread of the virus. The question, what's the best way to convince a parent to get a vaccine is just to have an outbreak. Fear sells. Sadly, people are compelled much more by fear than reason. Genetically modified mosquitoes in high security lab. Genetically modified gene drive scale release of the engineered insect into a high security laboratory in Terni, Italy. It would eventually provide a powerful new weapon. NPR was the only news organization allowed into the lab to witness the moment the release began in early February, spreading their mutations. But in this case, 
researchers want the modification to spread, so they engineered mosquitoes with a gene drive. All progeny inherit the modification. All the offspring, the mosquito children, have this modification. Researchers created the mosquitoes by using the powerful new gene editing technique known as CRISPR, which Mueller likens to a molecular scissor which can cut at a specific site in the DNA. But critics fear that the gene drive organism could run amok and wreak havoc. Population crash could also lead to other mosquitoes coming with other diseases, critics say. We can't be taking lightly the extermination technology. We need to slow down. We need to hit the pause button on gene drives. This is a technology where we don't know where it's going to end. We need to stop this right where it is. The project major funder is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Well, here is CRISPR-Cas9, weaponized mosquitoes. The perfect way to inject a species or people. It's affecting the smell and taste of mosquitoes and the main symptom of this pandemic. What are your thoughts? And I would like to do a special shout out to Big Hair Tsunami. Thank you so much for encouraging me and helping me and every PayPal donation as I try to get monetized. Please share, subscribe if you haven't, and comment below. I have a live coming out soon. Until next time, be kind, and thank you once again, Trinity. Red or blue pill, hi ho, come at the frog here. Come with me, and you'll see a world.